Let's go over here. We might find that trophy. Aha! That's the trophy I won for the deep sea spelling bee. I was going to pick it up after school today. Darn! The trophy case is locked. What's that? I wonder who we could get the combination from. Hey, I think this fell off the back of the lock. It says to get the combination to this lock, show this card to Mr. Triplefin. So, if we show this card to Mr. Triplefin, he'll give us the combination. Oh, Luther, you're a genius. I know. <laughs> hmm. Alright, th it's that guy that was making all the fish jokes, right? Well, let's get to him. Mr. Triplefin, do you have the combination to the trophy case lock? Well, dip me in gravy and call me a biscuit. You bet I do! Uh, may we have the combination? It depends. I seen lots of locks in my time. You'll have to get me a business card with a lock serial number. In this? Watch this! Hey, you giving me the business? Your business card, sir. Well, so it is. <laughs> you boys will be wanting the combination to the trophy case. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Hey, that's a coincidence. So's Mrs. Triple Finn. Thanks for the combination, Wait, Mr. Triplefin. Freddy's a girl? Why do you have a name? Why do you have a boy name then? Unless Freddy can, is gender neutral. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through these. I'll bet we can get this lock open now. Okay, this is easy. Grab that trophy then. I remember how proud I was when I won this trophy. Gee, it looks expensive. It looks like it's made out of gold. No, Luther. The trophy isn't gold. Only the memories that go along with it. <laughs> Hector oh, that's freaky. That bottle looks awfully familiar. That bottle looks awfully familiar. <laughs> oh. Can you take that bottle? That bottle looks awfully familiar. I guess not. Tim Tap, Sergi Sturgeon, one four. Well, at least we can get the other thing, but I'm still wondering how we're gonna get the trident. There you go. Ray, you won't believe this, but I just happen to have a slightly used trophy. <laughs> Mmm, nice quality. Kid, you just made the deal of the century. Gee, Freddy, sorry you had to give up your spelling bee trophy. I know how much that trophy meant to you. It's okay, Luther. I remember how special it was to win it, and that's what really matters. Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. Are you gonna sing a song for us? A top-notch hodgepodge wristwatch just for fun. 
too bad I already sold the last one. Look at that cork, and then we'll figure out how to get the other one. But how are we going to get the Triton off? Wait, what? Yes, Squid Father. We know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. <laughs> yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Oh. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids. Uh-oh. This is not good. Talk about revealing the who the person is a bit early, though. So, stealing toys because some squid guy wants a toy. Do you have any helpful hints for me, Missy? Freddy, you look rather pleased. Do you have some good news you'd like to share with the rest of the class? We discovered that the ghost isn't really a ghost at all. Just someone dressed up in a sheet. And we found the perfect place to trap that toy snatching thief. I certainly hope you can catch the culprit. Unless I see the sharks haven't gone to those kids yet. Uh-oh. If you guys don't stop nosing around the schoolhouse, the ghost will turn you into a couple of fish sticks. Uh -huh. I'm no jellyfish. You can't scare me. However, you can scare me. Well, don't say we didn't warn ya. <laughs> I thought that ghost is a shark in disguise. Hmm. I've invented a pill that contains all the noise of our Okay, we've heard this one before. It has to be something I've missed. Take good care of that pipe. We sort of got real close being stuck together like that. Is there a hint you think we should ask the statue how to get the trident loose? It's a statue, Luther. And even if it could talk, the answer is simply over its head. These are my plastic-coated safety scissors. It's the mock stock. We have four purple C 
Ayrton. So nothing I have on me can get that down. Oh wait, can I go down a different way? Hold on. I hate these slider puzzles. Oh, okay. Yay! We, we got, got to the try them. Let's go catch that ghost. Okay, that worked out better. I should have looked at that. We're ready to make our trap, Luther. <laughs> That's just about everything. Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. I gotta have some interaction. Our trap with this. is complete. Someone's coming. <laughs> hey, boss! Look! A toy! Let's grab it! Now, Luther! Go, Luther! I love how they're just standing there. They don't even bother to run. Hey! It's Freddy Fish! And Luther! How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys? Yeah! The squid father told us to, cause he's never had any. You should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. Uh, duh. you know, she just might have a point there, boys. Okay, you can give back the toys. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the copies. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. Whoa! Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys. That's back very to noble the of you, Luther. Giving up your favorite toy? Look what we you found! found the guppy's toys! Hip, hip, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker! There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. Just two it sharks. Was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Well, you know what they say. All's well that ends well. And that was Freddy Fish and the Case of the Haunted Schoolhouse. That was actually a pretty interesting game. Um, jeez, I don't know what to say right now. Uh, that was definitely a really short game, but then again, all the Humongous Entertainment games are pretty short, but for their shortness, they offer, they still offer quite a bit of entertainment, especially if they're younger kids. And hey, give these games credit, at least they don't treat their audience like idiots like most games these days do. At least most games towards, um, younger audiences. So, uh, I'm guessing you guys are wondering, am I gonna play the other Freddy Fish games? Well, of course I am, just like I'm gonna play the other Pup Putt and Pajama Sam games. But that'll be for another day, so thank you for joining me on this shore run, and I shall see you all later.